Match day! The most accomplishing moment of yeah. our careers. What happens if you don't match? Let me connect the Wi Fi. Wait, we're logging in. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Haddad, also known as Once Upon a Doctor, and I'm here with my favorite person today, Dr. Ella Drews, also known as her best friend, roommate, and life best everything basically <laughs> everything best friend all in one combo and today we're going to talk about one of the best time of the year especially for every single medical student both nationally and internationally and it's gonna be match day match madness we're changing it yes. be match madness now. yes i agree <laughs> Before we step in, I know a lot of people don't know what Match Day is. They probably see it online, all the reels, everything's trending, especially around March, and they don't know why people are celebrating. And I think for us, Match Day was probably one of the most important days of our entire medical school experience. I think it was more important than graduation, oh, yeah. right? Definitely, 100%. So what is Match Day? How would you explain it to people that don't know? Essentially what it is, is that all the medical students, fourth year medical students, interview with a bunch of residency programs in their specialty of interest. And basically what it comes down to is them ranking all the programs they interviewed with in the order of their preference list. And all the programs that interviewed them also rank all the applicants they interviewed in their preference list. It's like an algorithm that tries to pair up based on your preferences and the program's preferences to find the most ideal match for the residency spots. It's like a tango dance. Pretty much. So basically you pick the places that you want to audition. And what an audition is, is you have programs that you're interested in. So you go and try to do a rotation and actually work with them to see what the program is like. And I think that's the best way to get to know what a program is actually like and see if that's a place where you want to be. And for example, let's say you interviewed at 14 or 20 programs. So now it's about trying to rank each program as number one. That's a place where ideally that's where I want to be to number 20, which is the worst case scenario. Or, you know, that's the least place that you want to go with. Either way, the hospitals would do the same thing. Let's say my number one option is family medicine at Harvard. What they will do is then take all of the applicants that they have interviewed and then they'll rank them from let's say one to 80 or 100. And basically if I put them number one and they put me as their top choices, then we match. And that's how it basically is. Yep. And the whole point is that you want to match at a program that you want to be trained and be there for the next few years of your training. And the program also, they want someone that is going to be a reflection of them and that everybody gets along. Yeah, definitely. Goes both ways. What about the worst case scenario? What happens if you don't match? I mean, it's definitely not the end of the world. It happens to people. And I think it's nothing to be disheartened by. You can always reapply the following gear. And, you know, if you're really dedicated to a certain specialty that you can't imagine yourself doing any other specialty, I think you should definitely stay dedicated and just keep trying because eventually you will get in and you will get there. FYI, if you are interested, our scrubs today are from Fabletics. I'm wearing the new color drop for March Madness for Match Madness. This is the coral color and then Hero's also wearing the beach wave blue color. They're both beautiful. If you've been following me for a long time, you'll notice that all of my videos are Fabletics scrubs and I'm going to attach a link for you in the description if you want to go ahead and check them out. I think this is our first time doing a YouTube video together and I think this is perfect because we're talking about match day. I don't know if you know this, but Hira and I, we we did our entire match celebration together. Mm -hmm. And it's not just a celebration. We actually opened the results together at the same time. And we're going to show you that video. It's just as genuine and as organic as we watch it. And I think we're going to watch it today and we're going to react to it and look back yeah. and appreciate how far we've gotten from that day. Yeah, definitely. This is really like the best day, I think, best moment, the most accomplishing moment of yeah. our careers. And we get really excited when you see other medical students every single year wait for that day because I think we look back and appreciate where we mm -hmm. are. Definitely. Not only did we live together in med school, but we did a lot of our rotations together. We even did auditions together. We tried to find opportunities where we can stick together. And so we've been through it all. I think we did a lot of preparations and I don't think yeah. there was anything available online to help guide us through in terms of decoration do we invite people do we want to open it on our own so mm -hmm. I think we're like going from those decisions right yeah. we don't know if we want to keep it private yeah. or actually have everybody over and open it with us yeah I think we kind of just like on the spur of the moment we're creative and came mm -hmm. up with like unique ideas of how to make that day more special and how to make it a surprise and it all came together like really nicely mm -hmm. honestly we ended up meeting the night before and I remember we were at the coffee shop and the tea shop and I actually decided you know what no matter what happens tomorrow that we have worked day and night since even pre-med after mm -hmm. high school since college we worked everything we invested everything we had to this one option and no matter what it's going to be that you know what we worked so hard and we need to celebrate yeah and that was the biggest celebration moment I don't think Definitely. our family understood necessarily what match day was mm -hmm. because I think 
think we prepared for it more than what we would have done for graduation. Yeah, definitely. We went all out. Why do you feel that match day for us felt more important than graduation? I think it's just the day that you kind of confirm that you're going to be a doctor and you're going to be pursuing a specialty that you chose. And it just feels all so real. I think it's the most you know, surreal feeling that you've accomplished everything you worked so hard in medical school for. I think finally we decided to keep it low key. A low key in our culture means a couple of really, a lot of people, I think. Right, pretty grand in other Pretty grand, opinions. pretty grand. But we decided to keep it, I guess, as a many close family and close friends only to just be there for us because I think they were part of the entire process. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we made it is because of their love and their support. So we wanted to include them, the excitement. And although they weren't really aware of how much it meant to us. We're hoping that this video will help you and a lot of people that have loved ones in medicine understand why match day is so important for us. You know, you've been waiting for that one day to forget where you're going to be and you've worked so hard to end up in a program of your choice. So I remember we decided to delegate tasks and I went through this entire bakery process and decided to design a cake that reflects match day and especially the colors and themes for us was mostly like the whites, White the and silvers, blue, navy blue, the navy blue. And I did like the printing of the posters and the signs and such took care of like the cake and my family helped with the balloon uh, bouquet mm -hmm. arrangements. Everybody kind of pitched in as a team yeah. to get it all done mm -hmm. in a short amount of time, which was so great. And we had like a breakfast, we had some food, mom worked on it as well. And I think the day off it was so stressful. Time to prepare, we have less than 30 minutes. Kira came over and we maybe had 30 minutes to go before the yeah. results came out. Mm -hmm. We had nothing prepared. Yeah. The balloons were up, it was windy. And we had had all hands on deck trying to put up the decoration, get mm -hmm. everything out. And the posters were so cute. Yeah. We had like the match shape posters. We got them laminated mm -hmm. as well. And we did like little signs of all different states that we interviewed with. Mm -hmm. And our thing was that we're going to pick up the sign of the state that we got into for our family to all know what it was, which is how we ended up doing it, which you'll see in the video. It's really creative, I think. I haven't seen anyone else do that idea. Yeah. No, no, I don't think so. I think we started the trend. I and know. now I hope we're like the Pinterest inspiration yeah, for others. Exactly. To like, I mean, use it. It's a cute idea. Now, I've seen people do the poster with where they match in terms of the program or the hospital name. But I think for us, we try to keep it more private in terms of hospital name, given mm -hmm. that we're going to post it, be public mm -hmm. with it. So we decided to go with the state. And mm -hmm. from our experience, we both know our goals. And at that time, we decided that family and location is one of the biggest things. Yeah. And it was the biggest factor for us. Mm -hmm. Although I would say wholeheartedly, I can considered other programs out of state did you mm -hmm. yeah definitely but i think it just matters on like all together you look at everything that's important to you and your priorities of a program and you use that to kind of guide your decision making and we both chose california we both got our top choice thank god we matched where we wanted to match i'm very grateful looking back i don't think there's anything like a perfect program no matter where you go there's pros and cons of every single program and my advice and i think your advice would be this well trust your gut no matter mm -hmm. how many things you write down it's a gut feeling if mm -hmm. it feels like the right program for you the people you are able to you know vibe with you are a good team, you feel comfortable to yep. learn and train mm -hmm. and develop into the type of physician that you want to be, pick that program for yeah. you. Yeah. Residency is going to be the same kind of broadly wherever you go. So I think mm -hmm. the small nook nooks there are every pros and cons of every program you can take into consideration. Just know the big picture is you're still going to get the same type of training and residency no matter where you go. Okay, let's look at our video. Let's do it. Oh my God, we look so cute. We're young. Oh my God, the anxiety at this part. We're dying. We're clicking the button to open it. And then my auntie is next to me. She's like, oh my God. It was, it was like crazy. It felt like forever. It yeah. literally felt like forever. It did. During that moment, Kira and I knew where we got and we whispered to each other if Wait. we got our top choice and no one, no else, one else knew. knew. They were just waiting for us to tell them what. And then my auntie's next to me. She's like, oh, did she get where she wanted? Then her face, she's like, ah, oh, she got where she wanted. <laughs> and we have all the signs on the table right there of the States and we picked up, quickly try to pick yeah. up before they see which one we're it is. We're giving them some sort of like spontaneity or like, are you ready? And we looked at the same time and they all started screaming. <laughs> It was really emotional. Like, I seriously, yeah. could I hold back my tears? My mom. Everyone my was mom, so yeah. happy. Look at how many people there are. That's not even the entire people. And when yeah. we said we were keeping it close. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to cry. It was, we were actually so, crying. Yeah, like it was too much emotions, like happiness, excitement, like a lot. We made it. But good luck to everybody applying for Match and hopefully everyone gets into the best program that's best for them. And if you don't, like we said, it's totally okay. Don't be disheartened. Just try again and aim to be the best doctor that you can be. Good luck.
I wish you nothing but the best. Continue following our videos. We'll help you get there. Either way, again, congratulations to every single person that made it. You worked so hard to get to where you are and keep pushing. I know residency is tough, but it's doable. And just remember why you got into medicine in the first place. And for those of you that did not make it, keep pushing through, stay motivated, work hard, and you will get there. That being said, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.